Welcome back to our Advent Reflections, December the 21st. What would you bring? What do you get the person who has got everything? Think about how we placed ourselves in the story yesterday. I wonder what you would have taken to give to the family that first Christmas. I think the story invites us to think about what we can offer to God. The invitation does, doesn't just stop after the story has been told at Christmas. You may feel like you don't have a lot to offer God, but I remember getting those first pictures from my kids when they started school. They might not have looked like any masterpieces to anyone else, but I love them and I have treasured them. God's the same. He's described as our Father, and although we may feel like there's nothing that we can offer that will ever be good enough, I know that he smiles and treasures all that we offer because he loves us like children bringing home squiffy paintings. Matthew 26. While Jesus was in the town of Bethany, in the home of Simon, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume. When she poured it on his head as he was reclining at the table, the disciples saw this and were indignant. Why this waste, they asked. This perfume could have been sold at a high price and the money given to the poor. Aware of this, Jesus said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me.